why you should grate your own cheese. Number one, it melts smoothly. Number two, you get more for your money. And number three, it tastes better. Just wanted to share with y'all today one of my favorite uh, tools that Pampered Chef makes. Actually, it's uh, three tools, but uh, it's our graders. So we have three different graders. We have the double uh, grater here. Uh, one of those sides will do the uh, extra coarse grater, uh, like a farmhouse grate. It also has a protective cover that comes with it. And you want to make sure that you always store these in your drawer. Uh, it does lay down flat, so it's easy storing in your uh, kitchen drawer. And then we have the fine grater on this side. Um, and you can separate these and just uh, hold it in your hand and do it over your pot. But uh, it has a little um, food catcher or cheese catcher, whatever you're grating, um, which it stands up on like so. Um, you're going to also have the food holder that comes with it, and it just slides on the track and then the plunger that's going to be used to keep your uh, cheese or um, your veggies, whatever it is that you're grating, that's going to push it down next to the blade as you're grating. So the one that I'm going to be using today and actually demonstrating is going to be another grater. Uh, these are all sold separately. This is the adjustable um, coarse grater. And when I say adjustable, all of them, this, the, um, this is the adjustable one, and then the zester is also adjustable. And when I say adjustable, that means that it has a little button on the side or on the handle where you can lay it flat over your bowl, or you can do it at an angle and just rest it on your cutting mat and just grate, which is what I'm doing today. Um, I'll show you this in just a minute, uh, but let's talk about the zester. Uh, this is great for your hard things that you want to grate up. Um, if you want to do any type of um, nut, you can do the zester with that. Uh, it also has the um, food holder and the plunger that goes on and we'll slide up and down. You can lay it flat across your bowl and just grate. Um, this is what you're gonna to want to use for your hard cheeses like Parmesan cheese. This is my favorite to grate with Parmesan cheese, which of course you can use the extra fine on the double grater, but this is my favorite. Um, if I were to only want to get two of the graters and have two graters. It would be this zester and then the coarse grater. These are the two that I use most all the time. Um, now, I'll be honest with you. Um, to begin with, when I first got these graters, I used the food holder and the plunger to um, grate. But once I got used to the grater and knew what I was doing, I do not use these, but for safety reasons, we are told to make sure to use these and just if you don't, that's at your own risk. So, um, this is the one that I use all the time and I use it for uh, my cheese tonight. I am making macaroni and cheese. My husband loves macaroni and cheese and I've got some of the, just the good old hoop cheese and I'm going to just start grating it up. I like to just kind of rotate mine as I'm going around um, and grating. As I see that my block is getting smaller, I just turn it over so that I don't get too close to the blade and accidentally cut myself. 
but this will make just piles and piles of cheese. This is a great um, grater for your veggies or anything like that too. If you're making zucchini bread, you can uh, just grate up some zucchini real quick and easy with that. But um, I hope that if you um, have any questions that you know that you can reach out to me and I will be glad to help you in any way that I can. And y'all take care. Happy cooking.